Merry New Year! Happy New Year. In this country, we say Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you for correcting my English with stinks. I am Nanja Ibuko, exchange student from Cameroon. Ha <laughs> ha Happy New Year! Communion After Dark.
Welcome to Community After Dark. Happy New Year, everybody. This is Winters. I am here with Gold and Paradise. And we are at January 1st. And this is our second edition of our best of of 2023. Um, and the last song that you just heard is the Born Baton Electricity. And that is on the Darkness Falls Again deluxe edition album that came out on dependent was that a cover of omd's electricity no it isn't oh boo. <laughs> mark always excited. thinks thought everything thought a, is covers guys i thought it was a cover of omd's classic track oh well no. and the sixth song of my set was brand new absurd minds out of germany I'm in love with this album, uh, Silicone Dreams, that came out on Gravitas, that was released on Scanner. You can get that on Apple Music, Amazon, Bandcamp, you can get it everywhere. Silicon Dreams. A oh, silicona? Or is it silicon? It's silicone. Okay, sorry. Like breast implants. Oh. I don't even know if they're made of silicone anymore. I think it I might be water know. or saline. Or something. I heard, Maybe silicone I heard the, was like the nineties. I'm not sure. <laughs> I heard they were using jelly beans for breast implants now. I don't know. I watched that show botched. So mm -hmm. I see a lot of breast implants. <laughs> so I don't ah. know what it went. I don't know what they're made of though. And the fifth song in my set was Nightcrawler out of Spain, featuring Dusak Lumina out of Germany. And this is My Worst Enemy is Myself. It was a single that was released um, that you can either get on Nightcrawler's uh, Bandcamp or Dusex Luminous, um, who just signed with Cold Transmission last month. Congratulations. Uh, one of my favorite bands is Dusex Lumina, as you all should know by now. Good deal. All right, and Winters. that song was so great, them collaborating on that. It's such a great dance track. Yeah, yeah, I remember that kind of, I mean, kind of, I don't know. But it was good from what I remember, yes. So good choices. Winter's fourth choice for some of her favorites of 2023 was from a band called Alien Air. She played a track um, as well last week on our first episode that we did of our favorites of 2023. This one she played is called Diamonds. It was off their album Emerald, which came out on Preparation H Entertainment. It's Team H Entertainment. Don't listen Sorry. to Paradise. Can Sorry. you already tell that this album is one of my top 10? Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, no, for sure. Good one there. Good choice. I agree. That album's very highly recommended. I heard it because of you, Tom. The third track we heard on Der Set was by Katak from Germany with a song called Six Days Left. That's a really good song from the Deliverance album out on Dark Tunes. Um, I got to see them at uh, WGT this year, and they definitely put on a really awesome show. I know. I'm so jealous. I love his voice. I've watched like the live things during COVID and all that with him. Singing. Yeah, this reminds me of Peter Steele of uh, Typo Negative. Like those Was... low vocals. <clears throat> that had to be one of our favorite, like, uh, labels too that we use this year that and in fact the recordings dark tunes and in fact that they had a i'm sure if like hey lance if you get a chance you know figure out which one we played more from dark tunes are infected in 2023 uh, out of line didn't have an, as much I, I love out of line don't get me wrong but they but they've a large amount of their artists now are stuff that we don't normally play on the show so i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure if i'm guessing right it was our dark tunes or in fact, it were probably the two top labels, if you're looking at labels, that is, that we probably played on the show this year. Yeah, Adeline uh, signs a lot of metal. They do. Now. They still they have do. their hard bands, like Hosiko, but they, they, they sign a lot of uh, metal and stuff. Metal, yeah, new metal. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the second, the second song in my set was by Odana Sodana out of Canada. And this is the song Beast featuring Tobacco. And this is off the Icon album that came out on Felt Records. I am in love with this song. It's just a really good dance track if you like hard screamy vocals like me. And 
started everything off with a Hosi Go single that came out this year. Um, hopefully there's an album next year, maybe. Um, they are on Out of Line. This was the single, A Symphony of Rage, and they are out of Mexico. And if you know me, I am a long time diehard Hosi Go fan. And I guess I'm supposed to read my top 10 albums. Well, yeah, but so. we got to do our shot of the week first. Oh, to, we're going to do to that first. Usher okay. in the New Year's, and then we're going to do your list. So let's okay. get our shot you of the week, to Usher. Before in. I read it. Okay. All right. I guess it is shot of the week time. Yeah, this I think is a. I, I can't remember the last time we did a show that actually fell on January 1st. I mean, I'm sure there might have been one over the years, but. It's probably seven years ago. It's yeah. been a long time. Long time. Yeah, seven years. It, it's like. Cyclical? It's like, it would have been seven years ago, I would think. Okay, well, this is our first shot of 2024. I got a uh, Popito or Coquito shot here. Is uh, I guess it's a Puerto Rican um, eggnog? It is. I believe. And it's really good. It's way better than eggnog. It's like a cinnamon yumminess. Somebody made this, so hopefully it's good and it's not poison. Uh, you ready for our shot of the week? Yes, shout of the week time, guys. Uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cheers. 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 Uh, drink your drink. You're right, Winters. That is a lot better than normal eggnog. Huh. Hey, well, that's interesting. I don't know if I've ever had that before. Winters, what did you do? Another shot of Uzo, you said? Well, I tried to make the Uzo taste better. Uh-huh. With Shamborg. <laughs> you can't mix it. You can't mix his Uzo. You can't mix Uzo, man. Unless you. Oh, I tried. Eat. I was like, we've got Shamborg. I like Shamborg, so I did a little bit of that in it, thinking I was going to make it taste like a, a berry. No, nope. The Uzo just killed it. It's as if I didn't put it in there. I think the only way you could do, yeah, no, that's that's impossible. What'd you do, Gold? For your uh, first uh, shot, uh, Azul Agave. That's tequila. Okay, thank you. Because I don't know what that means. means Agave. It sounds like a bowel movement to me. Blue blue something, but it comes in a blue bottle. Nice. Nice. All right, Winters, you want to you read off your list you got there? I will read off my top ten. I did this super fast today. Well, not super fast. It took me a minute. And it took <laughs> me uh, setting my iTunes up to what I've listened to the most this year. Um and it's not in any particular order. There are probably five more albums that definitely deserve to be on this list, but 10 albums and two amazing albums came out at the end of the year. So um, my first one is Cat Hack Deliverance um, that I consider a playthrough. I love his voice. Um, Absurd Minds, of course, Gravitas. Um, that album is just freaking amazing. Alienaire, Emerald. Um, another playthrough. All of these albums I can listen to just over and over again. Uh, Plague Pits, Creatures, uh, The Love, uh, Cosmic Despair. Um, it's only five tracks, but it deserves to be on there because this project is fantastic. Um, Ice Fabric, Goist, Voiter and Fabe. I'm trying here. I'm trying. See, they gave, had to do a shot at Uzo before reading this. Um, that's one of the last minute drops that is a complete playthrough. I mean, it's ice fabric. And then uh, Neurotic Fish, the demystification. Um, I spent time today to listen to the entire album because I'm a huge Neurotic Fish fan. And that kind of knocked some down because it is a playthrough. Um, uh, Caribou Hangs, uh, Optima- Op- Optograms. Um, this is more of a uh, post-punk dark, dark wave project that I love. Um, as you all know, I listen to a wide variety of music, a wide variety of dark music. Uh, Damien Hurst Crime, uh, Sex Code Pleasure. So I, I narrowed it down to those 10 guys. Nice. Did you have any, I have like 10 you, more. <laughs> was that something that like you wanted to do singles too? But yeah, it's too I much. do. I'm going to do singles. I'm going to post that on the interwebs. 
I will post the, my single picks on the interwebs. And I was going to do a winter's mix, um, as a lot of people have been requesting me to do, like an end of the year mix. So maybe I will do that New Year's Day because I don't really have anything going on. All right, there you go. All right, there's winter's uh, uh, top 10 list. So check out some of that stuff. Um, we'll post that, actually. We can post that on our um, website and our um, in our playlist and stuff. So we'll post that around. Um, I just need to get the information, obviously, so we can post it. But yes, so there's Winter's Top 10. Paradise is next. That's me. Come back for more music and uh, some more lists. We'll see you soon. This is Maniac Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Paradise. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please just leave us alone.
Let your body feel the bass Get in the epicenter Let your body feel the rage Get in the epicenter Let your body feel the bass Get in the epicenter Let your body feel the rage
dark is january 1st 2024 i hope you've made some fantastic new year's resolutions that nobody will ever keep 
because that's basically what happens. Now, if you are one of those few people out there that actually keeps your New Year's resolutions, more power to you. And uh, thank you. Uh, please send me the uh, the um, algorithm or the the idea or the recipe behind that that, that allows you to keep your uh, resolutions because I've never been able to keep any of them. I, I, every year I have a resolution of not drinking more. And that never happens. So I gave it up. You should always have a revolu- resolution of just be happy. Well, that I could do, but that'll never happen either. So Yeah, I think more people <laughs> should just be happy with themselves. <laughs> None of that's going to ever happen. So, you know what? Uh, if you could be as happy as my, my, my son, who is seven months old, this world would be a much better place. And we would all be uh, in a wonderful world. Until you're hungry, because then you mm-hmm. scream. No, he's the happiest baby you're ever going to see. Yes, he does get hungry. We all get hungry, though, don't we? Um, All right. Track seven in my set was one of my favorite singles of all year, period. I don't care whether you like it or don't like it. Too bad if you don't. was the new division with their single One Day. I could listen to this song 50 million times. I'll probably never get bored of it. It's a fantastic song. It's a digital single on Division 87. They actually had an album that came out this year. Uh, one day was not on the actual album uh but if you're a new division fan this single is amazing and it's probably if not my favorite single of the year uh my top two or three it's it's just an amazing track the sixth track in my set was by vogon poetry out of sweden uh they have a fantastic album this year called the guide and i played the song gargle blaster which also was released as a single with a bunch of mixes uh, great track and if you um, Gargle Blaster again gold uh, that was from um, interplanetary space androids that was no, ago, right? no no it was from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Hitchhiker's that's what Guide. I meant uh, yes. yeah that's what I meant it was the so same it's thing a, it's a drink right 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 the pan, yeah, the, so. pan the pan galactic Gargle Blaster good job so yeah that's a that's a great track very very catchy fun song uh, fifth track in my set was by Deadlights, who released a fantastic album this year called Glitter Spit on Dark Tunes Music Group. Um, I played the song I Am Electric, which I absolutely love. Very, very good album. They are of the UK. If you've never heard Deadlights before, definitely check them out and uh, go listen to the new album Glitter Spit. All right, the fourth track in Paradise's set was ES23 out of Germany. He played the song One Day that is on the album Dancing with Clouds that came out on Infected Recording. Oh, I just see what I did. I played two One Day songs. There's something going on. <laughs> well, and we're on the first day of the year. Yeah. Weird. You know, I didn't even notice that until you just said that. And I was thinking, okay, I played that. <laughs> That's strange. Anyways, all right. Sorry. The third track we heard was by Ruin Conflict from the U.S. here. And that song was called Get in the Epicenter. And that's from the release called The Experiment. And that is out on Infected Recordings. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge Ruin Conflict fan. Um, and I just, you know, this, this was his only um, uh, EP, I guess you would call it, that he released this year. It had four tracks on it. Uh, but very good. Hopefully we get some more new Ruin Conflict next year. He also did a great track. Uh, with Distorted Signal uh, and, that he sang on. And with Simon Carter. Oh, that's right. He, oh, that's right. He did that. Fa- that was a fantastic song, the one he did with Simon Carter as well. So that's, yeah, some good stuff there from, um, from Rune Conflict. Second track in my set was from Love and Revenge. Uh, this came out much earlier in the year. Uh, they're out of Germany. Love and Revenge is a large amount of bands that came together and, you know, put out, put out some releases. This was, I believe, the third release under Love and Revenge, the name Love and Revenge. The lead singer of this uh, band is also the lead singer of Rotter Sand. Um, and so if you're a big fan of Rotter Sand, I think you will love this um, project. Uh, the song I played was A Love Against a Lover. And that's the uh, title of the EP that came out this year. And that's on Tree Soul. I believe there is five tracks total on there. So go get it. That's like, I believe, the third release now from that project. 
And again, that's like Rotter Sam with like the Ferrisex and uh, a few other projects, but very good, um, just great artists that came together and made some fantastic music. And again, Rotter Sam has seems, you know, slowed down a little bit. So if you want a little bit more Rotter Sam, go listen to this project. And then the uh, first track in my set was by Zynik, uh, which I, you know, I've always been a huge Zynik fan out of Germany. Um, Zynik released a um, EP this year, which was kind of like a um, addendum or uh, like, you know, add on to the album that came out in 2022. Uh, the release was called Extended The End. That was on Zed's Dead Records. The song I played was Algorithm Slave, and that was the Mad As Hell Extended version of that track um again which you can get on that uh five track i believe it's a five track release so go get that in gold you got to see zynik uh in germany this year which is pretty awesome that's awesome yeah then 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 it's going to be also september of this year too i know i saw that ashbury heights was added to 2024 Streffen. yeah but this yeah. is this is this is september berlin Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, because they have they're gonna be there in Berlin in September. So big Zynik fan. Um, Gold's gotten to see him, which is fantastic. Good, good uh, project. So go check that out. Uh, let's go ahead. I'll do my list here, and then we will go to uh, Gold. All right. Let me get my list for you people. And he'll read it I, the best he can, guy. Yeah, I'll read it the best I can. This is my top ten. Um, these are all albums because. I just went with albums more or less than I did with the, I mean there's so many good singles and EPs that come out as well. Uh my so my list starting with number 10, I don't know if this is really in any specific order to be honest with you, was Vegan, their album Arrived. Um great synth pop project. Again, that's from the keyboardist who's in Diorama. So if you're a fan of Diorama, you will not be disappointed. Um my the next one was Volgon Poetry, which I played a track off of that. The album The Guide. If you're a fan of Spock, if you ever were a fan of Spock, then Volgon Poetry is definitely for you. It's just very good synth pop music if you're a synth pop fan in general. Um, number eight, again, this is no particular. ES23 with the album Dancing with Clouds. Um, again, I mean, most of these bands are bands that I've always been a big fan of. And so, I guess this really list isn't really that big of a surprise. Number seven, X marks a pet walk with superstition, which I guess just came out uh, basically uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, excellent album. If you're an X marks a pet walk fan, you will not be disappointed. Uh, the sixth one was Blood Ingle Unsterbleek. Again, you know how big of a Blood Ingle fan I am. If you've listened to this show over the years, so this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Uh, Be Born Baton with Darkness Falls Again. Another classic band with a fantastic album that came out. I'm so glad that they came back because they did not disappoint. Everything on this album is excellent. Um, if you're not a fan of B-Born Baton, then you will be if you listen to this album. Number four would be... Um, I apologize. Is that five or four? Where am I four? Yeah, four would be Absurd Minds Gravitas, which was the one that uh, Winters mentioned in her set, as uh, her list as well. Another band that I've always been a big fan of. And um, this new album is just great. Like Winter said, it's a playthrough. If you want to listen to every track, you will not get bored. Um, and then these other ones are also uh, Winter's stuff that she picked. Neurotic Fish, The Demystification of the Human Heart, number three, which just came out recently. Number two, Ice Fabric, Walter and Vice. Excellent, excellent album. If you, I mean, it just came out, but it's amazing. It's so Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and my favorite album of the year, I, I would say, is VMV Nation, Electric Sun. Um, it, I mean, granted, some of these other ones might have been my favorite at one point, but uh, that VMV Nation album in general is just amazing. And um, I, I, I wouldn't say, like, I've always been as you know big of a fan, maybe as Gold has been in VMV Nation, but... He uh, came back with uh, an amazing album in 2023. And uh, congratulations, Ronan. We're looking forward to seeing you here in Tampa in the near, near future, March 29th. Yeah. So that album was in my list until the Neurotic Fish it got bumped. Ah, okay. <laughs> and it's yeah, only no. because, like, I, 
I don't know. It got, it got bumped just because, I mean, it's a playthrough. It's, I mean, it's Ronin. It's, you're always going to have like the anthems and the lyrics and the everything. And it's just, Neuronic Fish came out. I think it's just because I was just super excited about it. So, yeah. but like I said, I need a top 20 because I mean, I listen to a large array sure. oh, no, of no, music. For sure. <laughs> There's plenty more out there. I actually just went with albums. Like I said, again, there's plenty of EPs, plenty of singles that you could go with. Um, but And that you was know, like a pretty this... massive album that he came out with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, great, great stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, VNV in, in March, guys. It's in March, right? March 29th. Yep, March 29th at Tampa, Florida. It's a sold-out show. So at the Orpheum. And it's sold out. And it's sold out. Yes, yeah, so there's no tickets available. So but don't you can go, go to the people. castle afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. If you don't go, if you can't go to the show, just, well, even if you do go to the show, go to the castle afterwards for the after party. There you go. And uh, have fun. All right. Um, Gold's next with his, uh, some more of his favorites from 2023. And then his list. So come back.
formless dance before the hitch body drops It's the only life is life that you've got One dance before the DJ stops What you got to lose when the music rocks Just one last dance before the hitch bomb drops It's the only life, this life you've got It's the night of the senior prom Everybody is there, even Carrie White The girl no one likes Crazy mother.
dread Chase dopamine by living in my head This model coil has gone digital Ignore the meat and these brilliant to Community After Dark's second top of 2023. We're picking out uh, some of our favorite tracks, not necessarily in order, not necessarily, you know, all of them, but just some of the highlights. You just heard Aesthetic Perfection from the U.S. with a sing- digital single called Meat and Bones. Uh, you can get that on Bandcamp. Uh, he's been kind of quiet because he's been touring, but put out a couple tra- tracks this year, so check them out. Prior to that, we heard Massive Amensch from Germany with a song called Nordsystern Sturm. And that's a digital single out on his label called Katsusha Records. Katsusha. Katsusha. Wait, Katsusha. Katsusha. <laughs> and um, this song was like on the DAC charts for a while. And uh, it's pretty good. So that you'll wonder why it was on the charts. Yeah, we need to get Daniel back on the show from Massive and Mensch because he's a yeah. great guest to have on the show. He's, yeah. so he's a you, fun guy. When you guys talk about the goth charts, where are you going to see that? Well, I, think I have a that, feeling the, listeners probably what, don't what was, know. What's called the Deutsch, Deutsch Alternative Charts, the DAC charts. Okay, yeah, so you, because the listeners search. might want to follow that because yeah. yep. you can see what's going on. Yeah, there you go. Follow it. DAC charts. Yep. So you have to really, you just put in DAC. DAC charts, but, yeah, it'll, should, come up. it'll bring it up. Yep. All right, go ahead, Winters. You want to read the fourth one? I guess so. Uh, the fourth song in Tom's set is by XTs out of Germany. I don't know if it's XTs, but I like saying XTs. And this is the song Hot Like Carry. That is the Reaper remix, which came out of the Monstars remixes, which is on Dark Tunes Music Group. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Because Monstars was came out in 2022, and then 2023, right, he it's released the Monstars remixes. That was a good one, though. That Reaper remix that With he Monstars appearances on there from a lot of big remixers. 
All right, the third track in the gold set was by uh, Mark Massive, who came back this year. He's out of the UK. Uh, Mark was, of course, the um, lead singer of Massive Eagle, which, uh, you know, he disbanded that project. And then he was silent for so long, but this year he came back with a new release, which is which was great. And the uh, release he played, he released, I'm sorry, the, the name of the release was called Idol Eyes. That is on Out of Line Records. The song Goldplay was You Only Got One Life. And that was the extended mix of that track. So go check it out. Hopefully we hear more from Mark here in the near future. But that was an excellent uh, release. And that was earlier. Uh, I think it was like, what, April? March, April that that came out. I Maybe it was so. May. If not somewhere in the area. Yeah, but I was really super stoked when this was released. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's really, really cool second track you heard was by a band called Black Car Burning, which is features Mark, Mark Hawking of uh, Mesh, mm-hmm. and, and the song was called The Mirror, and that's from the album called Watching Sleepers, and you can get that on Cop International and in Bandcamp. And then I started off with Beyond Obsession from Germany with a song called King of Ashes. That's the digital single. Um, they released a new single this week as well, but that's leading up to their full-length album that's going to be called King of Ashes I think coming out either in January or February alright and that's on eh? oh uh, oh yeah it's on Bandcamp they're, they're, in, they're totally independent now alright so Gold's got one more uh, song coming up so don't go anywhere but uh, he wants to read you the list that he all has right. alright let's see what I got here let's see let's see I got um, Neurotic Fish uh, VNV Nation Third Minds, P4 Baton, Zynic. Um, uh, vegan. Then uh, Gene Loves Jezebel. They had an album called uh, Love Love Sor- Sorrow Love Sorrow Death, which was really good. Um, then OMD's Bauhaus Staircase. Mm-hmm. And then Public Image Limited, uh, End of World. And then right. also, also for Shits and Grings, the the last Depeche Mode album, Memento Mori, was really good too. All right, well there you go. There's Tom's list, a little different than ours. Maybe a few. Well, we got some of the same, and then a little different. So, excellent uh, stuff. Um, again, we'll post these lists on our uh, website, comeafterdark.com. Um, if you want to check them out. You know, or just uh, go uh, look look for the, some of the stuff that we recommended. Most of the stuff you probably know because we played a large amount of it on the show. But all right, uh, let's go to Gold's last song, and then we'll come back. We're gonna read some donations that we received um, before the year ended, and um, then we'll move on to um, the new 2024 shows. Well, what's your last song? Um, we're gonna hear Morse Black featuring Sizzajix and Daddy Daddy Beer together on a song called Procession and that's on the Morris Black album called Burial and Void Final Cut out on Bandcamp Alright, come back
All right, welcome back to Community After Dark. This is our rear end show part two. We are finishing up the uh, 2023 favorites. So we just some of our favorites from 2023. If you didn't listen to last week's show, please go back and listen to it. Um, one of our goals for 2024 is for our listeners out there to share the show a little bit more. If you can comment, like our show, it means a lot to us. Uh, please do that if you can. Um, but yes, every week our show goes up on YouTube on Tuesday evening. So please go and check it out. Um, otherwise, it does go up on the day before on Monday on all our other sites. YouTube is usually our most popular site. So um, if you want to see our Zoom video where you can actually see us talking to each other, then YouTube is the way to go. And that goes up again every Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your time zones uh, for uh, you know what works best where you live. Because I know um, it's a little late for some people when it goes up. All right. Um, so let's read our donations, the year-end donations. Lauren Gustafsson, monthly donor to our podcast. Thank you, Lauren. Scott Zeman, another monthly donor. We did get a one-time donation this week from Randall Moore. He said the CAG crew is the best can't wait to hear all great music you'll bring us in 2024. Thank you. Thank you so much, Randall. Um, Randall is from Illinois. Yeah, all right. I love the state of Illinois. Thank you, Randall. I used to live near there, Randall. Long time ago. No, I did. <laughs> I did. Um, Alexander Burt, monthly donor. Uh, Sarah DeGroot, monthly donor. Nigel Baker, another monthly donor. Ricardo, David Reynoso, all monthly donors. CD from EBM Worldwide, monthly donor. Uh, Dark Lord of Serpents, who's been a monthly donor for a long time with us. Katya Gutinger, another monthly donor. Thank you, Katya. Uh, Mind Killer Inc., monthly donor. Marcine Debaya who sent us a uh, one-time donation, said thank you for a year of amazing music selections and entertaining and informative discussions in between. Well, I don't know about all that, Marcine, but thank you very much. And Marcine is from Maryland, the great state of Maryland. What do they do in Maryland? Do you know it? Does anybody know? I have no idea. But Marcine, thank you. I don't, know. I don't know what they do in Maryland. Maryland rhymes with sin. Huh. There you go. Lance Cooley sent us a year-end donation. Thank you so much, Lance. Thank, Thank you, you, Mad man. Scientist. Fantastic. Johan Rombouts, uh, Dave Steinhausen, Alonzo White, Jillian Tate, all monthly donors to this podcast. Um, and... I think that's everybody yeah i believe that's everybody so thank you thank you all we appreciate your um support you mean a large amount to us and uh we look forward to um hopefully a really good 2024 moving forward um i don't know if anybody else has anything else to say but i mean yeah thank you everybody thank you yeah enjoy your uh, new year and uh we look forward to seeing you again in another i guess week Next and Monday. maybe if you guys want to post your top 10 album yeah. for this year in yeah. a comment. Yeah, that's true. Your albums are. Yeah, because YouTube, YouTube's it seems like we've got a large amount of people who post their comments and stuff like that. So that would be perfect. You know, go ahead and go on our YouTube, leave a comment, leave your top 10 list. And um, I'm sure we will be happy to read them for you on the right. show. Or if you don't have 10, if you just have like one album that really hit you this year, sure. just leave that, that and why you liked it. That's a good point, Winners. It doesn't have to be 10. That was just something we did. But All right, so uh, that's <laughs> it. And thank you to everybody who contributed to our show in 2023. Um, the list is probably a little too long. And thank you as well to uh, DJ Mouse, who um, is a, also a regular on the show, but you know doesn't come on every week. But thank you again for all your contributions this year. We look forward to more contributions from her in 2024. All right. I guess that's it. We're done. 
Bye-bye. Bye. See everybody next week. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to count down now. Ten. Okay. Nine. What? Okay, I'm so, apparently my watch is fast. Uh, I started too soon, so uh, we'll uh, we'll do this right. Okay, here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Okay. My New Year's resolution is to uh, grow more hair. <laughs> Your baby does have more hair than you. <laughs> it does. It does. My son's got more hair than me. That's what sad. About, what about you, Tom? Obviously, Mark wants your jeans. Maybe I need to take hymns. <laughs> Isn't that the new thing that they are? That's out there. The hymns, testosterone medicine. It'll help me grow my hair. Two stem cells. Seven, six, five. Okay. What's your resolution, Tom? I don't know. Try to exercise more. That's about it. Good. Well, you're already on a good start. You guys are walking all over the place all the time. Yeah. Four, three, two. And what's my resolution? I, I don't really know. To try to keep up with things more. There you go. Because I like to nap a lot. <laughs> I like to sleep a lot. So maybe to go get out of the house and do more things. So that's my yeah, resolution. Yeah, that's a good resolution. One. Okay. Uh, Happy New Year. Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.